Hi, welcome back to BK Garage. Time to lay down some paint on the 66 Galaxy. Paint's dry, gone over some parts of it and given it a light scuff. It's time for some lettering. So I laid down some masking vinyl. I'm starting to get things laid out here. So if you haven't guessed, this thing's gonna be a patinaed NASCAR tribute. It's gonna look like Ned Jarrett's car from 1965. He ran both 65 and 66 body styles that year. I've found pictures of both. So we're starting to get some lines laid out on this side to make everything match. Did a little sanding to get my patina coming back through. It's working all right. Won't be any lettering on this part, so that's why I gave it a try to see how it turned out. I'm quite happy with it. Any place that the lettering's going, I'm laying it all on first, get it painted, and then I'll patina back through the lettering to make it all match. I'll draw some lines.
camera died, so I've skipped ahead a little bit here. Just finishing cutting out all the letters in the vinyl. Just very light pressure with a razor blade. Using a straight edge where I can and I'm freehanding all the curves. Well, that's only about three hours of work just to do those two spots on the hood. There's a whole bunch more to do on the sides and roof. Well, carrying on with masking, got a little bit wider product to use on the roof and doors. This is a 3M stuff. It is a royal pain to lay out, especially on the roof. But it seems to work. As long as I'm getting it smooth where all my cut lines are, if there's wrinkles out here, I'm not too worried about it. The nice thing about this stuff is you can lay it out on the table and draw all your graphics out, then put it on the car. This other stuff I'm using that's 12 inches wide doesn't have any backing on it, so you got to put it on the car first, then draw it out. Stuff is tricky to get started. There we go.
you can see here that actually pulled paint off the car in places. My paint stuck to the coat that was on there. That's lifting the original paint off. So it was not prepped very well before it was sprayed the last time. But because this is going to be a patinaed car, I'm not worried about it. If it does it out here a bit more, whatever, those spots will get sanded. If I wasn't doing the patina thing on this car, it would have been stripped right down to bare metal. But as I said before, it's just not worth it with this one. It's not what I want to do with it. small letters are a pain to cut out. There, everything's masked off. Just draped a sheet over the whole car and then cut out around all my lettering. Taped it off again. I'm gonna give it a wipe with some wax and grease remover and it's ready to spray. I'm gonna soak it down like I usually do with the whole car. Kind of concerned about it eating the mask. Not sure if it will or not, but it is a solvent. Let's go for a little walk around now. This is all masked. Tried to stay fairly true to the original car with the lettering and numbers and stuff. Took a couple liberties with it. Put my shop name across the top of the trunk. On the original car, the owner's name was Bondi Long. I substituted my name in. Found a picture of Ned's name written out on another car, so I copied that. And the original car just had two rectangles on the roof for the 11. I think that was probably so you could read it the same from either side of the track. So that's ready to spray.
can see where my mask seals against my face. I'm gonna have to trim my beard. Not touching the lettering, I'm touching the side on the masking. It's already dried up enough, I'm not leaving a fingerprint in it, so it's ready to start pulling masking. Well, the lettering has dried overnight, started sanding the patina back into it. That would have been nice to leave it all shiny, but that would have required stripping this entire car down to bare metal and another month of my time and several thousand more in paint and body materials. So we're going to go with this. Any place there was old chips and peeled spots, whatever, we're sanding back into them. Sanding some of the edges out a little bit on the lettering. Any of the pronounced body lines, giving a little scuff on there just where to have wear marks. And sanding right into the letters in places just to get some wear on them. I like the way that turned out. So all these little spots where there's old chips in the paint. Just using this Velcro sanding stick and wet sanding down into them so I can kind of isolate my sanding to the chips. Just get them cleaned off like this. Using 400 grit for that. I'll go back over it afterwards with 1500 and 2500 and get the scratches out so that it'll actually polish up a bit. This side hasn't been done yet. Of course those letters are quite pronounced on top of the blue paint. So all this stuff, I'm going over it wet with 600 on the DA and just knocking the hard edges off of it and it kind of blends them in. It works really well.
let's give it a polish and see what happens. That works. Second coat was fine machine polish. First was a heavier cutting compound. I think that'll do. You get the idea. I'm going to shut the camera off and go at it here. See you when I'm done polishing. Hour and a half and a couple gallons of sweat later. Well, car's got a two-step polish on it. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Next up, some reassembly and get this thing running. I haven't had it fired up yet. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, please like, share, subscribe, tell your grandma, and I'll see you on the next one.